Welcome back everyone to Me Man 100's Geek Week. And today I'm going to go over the software and storage system I have set up for doing videos and producing videos. Um, so, with that, I think uh, I'll start here on the right hand side. And um, I'm running Windows 7 Ultimate Service Pack 1, 64 bit which I think is the ultimate uh, standard for OS's right now. Um, not into the Windows 8 thing. Won't be for a long time if ever. I doubt it. Um, so I run this OS. It's very stable. It does what I want it to do for gaming and I stick with it. So with that uh, Let's see, this is all hardware, Core i7, but here's some of my specs so you can really see specifically what I got. Got three monitors, the hard drives, alright. Um, down here in the bottom right, I have I've laid out what I have for capturing. Um, and my capture card is a Dazzle DVC100, as you already probably could have guessed from the other video. And the software I use to interact with it is XSplit Broadcaster, um, which is what I'm currently recording with right now to do this. Um, so, I wonder if I can, maybe my computer will explode if I do this, but I'm going to bring this over and show you what it looks like. Um, here it is, and ignoring the infinite loop, you've got all your sources, you can just add, you can add any kind of source whatsoever. Um, and you can it, it just all kinds of sources and they can all be on top of each other it just works so anyway um, then let's see here you can change what kind of thing you have so I can turn you guys off and put an intermission screen up I can go to the capture card should be able to hear me still hopefully you did and you can do all sorts of stuff. I mean, it does anything. It could probably record Minecraft as well with the right settings, but I choose to use another program for that. So, so this is what I use. I use it for streaming, local recording, and that's what it says up there right now. I'm local recording, so let's get that out of here. <laughs> um, so that's what I use for capture cards. Anything capture card. Any console. Any type of input. Um, so, for screen capturing, and basically for Minecraft, I use Bandicam. Um, and I have down here Fraps, but Fraps is kind of a... Fraps doesn't work really well for Minecraft, I've found. It just doesn't work right. It's laggy, and I, I'm not, I'm not going to fight it, so I, I tried a different product, and I actually bought Bandicam. Because it's useful for other things. But Bandicam lets you, um, it lets you select a window, so you could say, you know, I can click on this, or, it really doesn't let you, oh, like, there we go, I clicked on XSplit, and now I've got XSplit, um, and now it's stuck on it, but that's fine. Um, so you can just, like, if you open Minecraft up and you just start playing, and it's automatically knows it's a source, and you just hit record. Well, in this case, F12, and it will record. So, and this has various settings. I mean, I use this to record uh, the Marble Blast Gold. Um, I'm sure there's something else I'm forgetting, but those kind of games. And you can go in and set full size or half size and sound. And, uh, and here you can tell it to... This is the greatest thing, and I don't know why other programs can't do this. You can have your one primary sound device, and then you can have a secondary sound device, which basically lets you have two input sources of audio. Um, that's the greatest thing I've ever seen, which is why I use it. And it doesn't lag in Minecraft. It really doesn't. With these settings, these settings here, and these settings. <laughs> um, now, it also does, and I notice I haven't been doing this, because it's kind of annoying anyway, but this you can add a logo to your video and have it in any corner and it's that looks pretty cool um, probably useful sometime 
if you did it correctly, you really wouldn't annoy anybody with it, probably. I mean, make it transparent, make it kind of small, and put it in the corner. Seems to be the best option, um, if you're into that kind of thing, which sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. Um, so this is my, these are my settings for that. Um, this overlays FPS onto the, on whichever program you're running that it can support. And, and I record here, I'll show off my uh, storage settings here in a moment, but well then, this is what I use, so, um, that, so that's capturing, that's capturing, you know, from a capture card or from screen captures. So now, when I'm doing done doing that, I when it, to edit, I use Corel Video Studio, and I'm going to get X6 here in a few days or so, but right now I'm using X5, um, and it works, obviously, and... So this is my environment, and I can, I have things laid out in a way that, per game, usually. Um, so if I were to, if I were to open up a project, let's just open up Mini Man Geek Week Hardware, I have laid out an intro, which is all this, and then I've laid out the content, um, of course, and which is all after that, and there's edits, and then there's an outro at the end. Basically, you're, it's very, very easy to use while having a lot of features, I mean, so, you know, you can have transitions, there's custom templates already built in, there's text, so you can click on the text, and you can put in those. And then there's all sorts of effects, which I've used rarely, but I think I've used a couple of times. Um, definitely use the transitions quite a bit. Anyway, and the text is the same. I have different text for my layouts and different intros, so you can you know scroll through here and and the text. You can click on it. And it's what you see in my videos on intros and whatnot. Um, so this is a this is what I use to be usable in editing, and I find it very easy, and I try to do things in Linux and Mac OS's, but stuff like this, really, there's, I haven't found anything that even comes close, and so this is what I use, and I use Windows to do it, so that's Corel. Now I guess I'll show off um, what I have for storage um, set up. So if I go and bring up this, and I go in here, and so here's my layout. Actually, you know what would show up better? Um, how do I get to that? I think if I go here, and I load this, this will give you a better idea of what's going on. Um, so, yeah, here we go. So my 931 GB drive has three partitions. I'm getting a little technical, but it has three sections sectioned off. So this one's Mac, this one is uh, Windows, and this one's Linux. Because I store everything some on a network attached storage, the Linux partition doesn't need to be very big to use it. Um, and Docs is all my documents which is where all my videos are, and it's just one big drive, and it's it's self-sustained, and I back it up to the network attached storage. So, that's pretty much how I'm laid out, and here's some of my network attached storage here. So, um, docs, you can go into videos, and I've got a YouTube folder, and this is where everything is for YouTube. Um, now I'll do this. This looks better. So this is all my YouTube stuff. Um, and you can see that I just lay things out. It's a little bit of a mess, but I lay things out, usually by game or, you know, there's miscellaneous or you, my general banners and whatnot for YouTube and backgrounds and whatnot. Um, there's live streams, all sorts of stuff, um, intros and... So I just lay things out. I mean, you can go in and Super Mario Kart. Um, if you know that playthrough, if you've seen it at all, it'll 
you know, there's two battling videos, Special Cup, etc., and I keep the projects. Um, one thing I do, I mean, these are the edited videos, so the originals are back here. These are unedited footage. I mean, these go back to 2010, early 2010, and this stuff I don't, I don't know why I keep around. I mean, I don't even use this folder anymore because XSplit uses a whole different folder, this recording folder up here. So this could all go away, but there's some footage in here I might use and just upload unedited of things we did. Things that I did a while back on Mario Kart and stuff, so. Um, there's that, and then there's screen captures. This is where my screen captures go, because Bandicam is set to record in here. So you can see there's Marble Blast and all that, so. I separate my capture card and my screen captures, which makes it a little easier to manage. Um, so yeah, this is where I put things, and, you know, you can see newer Super Mario Bros. Wii. Um, so yeah, this is this is how I set things up, and this this folder's oops this folder is pretty big. It's 500 gigs almost, so a little large, but it's all right for now. Got plenty of space, and that's for streaming. So this is all just a matter of organization, and so uh, this is pretty much it, I guess. I, I did software and disk storage in t in one video, which is all right. Um, so this might be in 720p resolution. Um, so if it is, excuse that it's not 1080p, but it should be legible for sure um, in 720p. So um, so I guess I'll just uh, leave it off here and. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment. And we will see you later.